Unless you've been living under a rock, you might recall the movement map video that I have made recently. Now if you watched it all the way through, which a great percentage of you guys have not, you would know that the second half of the map requires you to do a movement tech that we call a U-bounce. The reason that we call this a U-bounce is because you essentially have to climb in a U-shape in order to get the wall bounce to occur. The steps to do a U-bounce are quite simple. Step 1. Initiate a climb. Step 2. Fall down slightly. Step 3. Climb back up. And then of course step 4. Jump off. It's a little bit more involved than that, so if you want to learn how to do a U-bounce properly, the actual creator of this movement tech, Jay the Yggdrasil, has just dropped an in-depth guide on how to do a U-bounce. Anyways, now I'm going to show you guys how to implement U-bouncing in gunfights. So, in this first clip here, I have someone pushing me, I do a super glide, and then I climb up into a U-bounce. On a side note, super gliding is one of the best ways to set up a U-bounce. So a lot of the next clips you'll see will start off with a super glide. So this is another super glide spot. Um, you super glide, hit this wall, fall down, climb back up, whatever. And boom. Great commentary. This spot here also has a lot of potential for outplaying enemies. You can pretty much U-bounce anywhere here. It's up to your creativity. Here's what it looks like in third person. So I fall down on the wall, just like standard U-bounce, climb back up, and then jump off. And it's very easy to repeat once you're good at it. The super glide is unnecessary as well, so you can just mantle hop off of the uh, ledge here, for instance. And you can do this on controller, you can just mantle hop and air strafe towards the wall, and then do a U-bounce. Once again, this spot here, you can either super glide or just mantle hop towards the wall. Doesn't matter. In this next clip, I set up my U-bounce slightly differently. So I stand on this ledge, drop down, and then chain it into a U-bounce. So Fragment has a lot of U-bounce spots. You can set up this U-bounce by slide jumping towards the wall, and then you can chain the wall bounce to get high ground. Also up here, you can super glide into a U-bounce and fall back into the building. Or if you're not comfortable with your super glides, you can simply mantle hop out of the building and it works just as well. You can literally just hop back and forth between these two points over and over again. There's pretty much an infinite amount of places that you can U-bounce in. It's really just going to depend on your creativity. We're also making a movement map that's exclusively just U-bounces. U-bounces are the only way to get through the map. I posted a couple of sneak peeks of it on Twitter, so I'll put the link to that in the comment section. All in all, I would say that this movement tech is very hard to learn, but very easy to execute. So once you learn it, which should take you quite a bit, uh, you could practice it on the movement map though. Um, but anyways, once you learn it, it'll be very easy for you to do it in game. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then I have to tell you to like, comment, and subscribe just like every other YouTuber says at the end of their video.